Right on. So let's uh, reflect on the first year as a pro. What uh, What are your takeaways? Yeah, no, I can't say enough good things about, you know, how the first year ran for me. Obviously, uh, started down in Norfolk there and had a pretty cool opportunity to, to play some games up here. So I was just enjoying the whole experience and, you know, got to meet a lot of great guys along the way. And, you know, maybe is there a highlight specifically uh, making your AHL debut? Like what, what was, I don't want to volunteer for you, you can let me know, but what was uh, maybe a couple of highlights for you from the season that was? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know it's hard to pick just one moment, but, you know, I think maybe the, the shutout game against Milwaukee was, you know, definitely a highlight for me, especially them being a top team in our division. And, you know, I, there's countless games that I could remember where, you know, just the, the energy in the room and, you know, just seeing how happy the guys were to pull off a big win together was, you know, something I'm going to look back on. How important was it for you to get that time in the ECHL before you kind of really came up here and made your mark with the Moose? Yeah, absolutely. I think it was a really good opportunity for me to, you know, kind of get my feet wet in pro hockey and learn the game a bit, and it definitely made the transition easier when I got here. How would you say you've grown as a goaltender in the, the year that that was? Yeah, I think I've matured quite a bit in the last however many months, and you know, I think just like I said, having the opportunity to, you know, play American League games as a twenty-year-old in the league is you know something that not a lot of people get the opportunity to do, and. You know, I'm just very grateful for that, and I think it helped my growth a lot. What's this year also going to do for your development this summer? I mean, now that you know what it takes to play at this other level other than junior, what's that going to do for your summer and help you continue to develop? Yeah, for sure. You know, it's definitely a lot of things I learned this year along the way, and you know, just how to carry myself as a pro, and you know, especially sharing the net with deals there for quite a while. You know, I learned so much from him, and he was a, a great mentor for me. Another guy you had to learn a lot from was Drew McIntyre. What was your first year working with Drew like? Oh, it was incredible. You know, right from day one of the draft, he was, you know, someone that I knew I was going to click with really well. And, you know, every single day it was just, you know, a great opportunity to learn with him. And, you know, I think we said this many times, but we share a lot of similar philosophies. And, you know, he's just someone that I'm super fortunate to work with. Is there one area that you've noticed in terms of jumping from junior to the American Hockey League that was kind of an eye-opener for you from uh, when you first kind of took the S? Yeah, I think just how many good players are in the league. You know, obviously playing in junior, there's some stars, but, you know, maybe one or two on a team. But, you know, we get to the American League here, and teams have two, three really good lines of, you know, guys that can score a lot of goals. So just being able to be ready for every single shot. And, you know, I think just the the overall skill level is so much higher here. In what area did you think that you grew the most as a player? Is there something specific that you were able to say, hey, there, you know, I really saw – and again, I'm not going to offer you an option, but you can give it. But is there some area that you were able to say, hey, this is an area where I really saw from day one to today uh, I jump in my game? Yeah, I think just the whole concept of maturing as a goaltender, you know, learning how to handle different situations and, you know, different, you know, ways the games are playing out and, you know, how to, you know, be that rock that the team needs sometimes to, you know, fall back on. You've been a guy who's played a lot of games in junior, but especially the last run of games here. And with the moose, you played a ton of hockey. So I guess first off, how is the body feeling at this point, and how much of an experience is that? Just managing that workload and being the guy that was between the pipes three out of four games in some cases. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it was something that you know I took as a blessing, and I was super happy to have that opportunity to play so many games. And you know, the body's been holding up really well, and you know, I can probably credit that to having some you know long seasons in the past. And yeah, no, it's just been a great ride what's the plan for the summer not too much going on i'll definitely take some time off and you know really use the time i have to you know get stronger you know maybe put on a few pounds and you know get right back at it